Hello everybody! We have a special guest today. I cannot believe he's in our home. He's the uber famous YouTuber of all time. Mr. Beast is here! Mr. Beast! Hello everyone. If you guys could vote to see who is a better YouTuber then, then is it PewDiePie or me? <laughs> you will get a thousand dollars. <gasps> wow! Oh, does that mean you guessed Mr. Beast? Oh. <laughs> Today at school they're having a Halloween parade and, Gr and Harrison is Mr. Beast, but he doesn't want to wear the goatee to school, so we're gonna take it off. Because I don't want to get in trouble. I guess there's not allowed to wear makeup and we couldn't find any like sticky ones, uh, just mustaches, um, so he's just not gonna have it. facial hair today. But I had to do it for this morning because it's so stinking cool. You love Mr. Beast. So, and <clears throat> the boys are Batman and Superman, and Winnie is Tinkerbell. And Posey doesn't have school today. So, we're getting everybody off to school, and then in a little while, we're gonna go watch their Halloween parade. Are you gonna be Superman today? Yes. Can you show me how Superman flies and runs around? <gasps> wow! Griffin, are you gonna be Batman today? Yes, you are. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys. So we are leaving in a few minutes to go to the Halloween parade at school. I did want to do a quick update on what's been going on. Uh, if you've not been watching our videos, we are in the middle of a battle with our school for our two special needs boys um, because they're not following the IEP. There are not enough aids in the SPED class and Griffin actually got injured. And we just found, we've been finding more and more information out that they're not following the IEP at all and I'm not mad at the teachers, I'm mad at the school district for not providing enough aids so that they can follow the IEP rules. So all I've done is I've requested an IEP meeting, emergency one, they have not gotten back to me. I, I, I was told they have about 10 days to respond, it has been about five, still no word on when. Um, we are in the midst of trying to get Griffin and Sawyer and the other two older kids into another school. We will know by Monday if they get into this other school in a better district. It's 50-50 if it's gonna happen. We don't know. Of course, I want this because it's easier. I don't wanna have to get a lawyer. I don't wanna have to fight the school district. And But of course, if they don't get in, of course I will fight for them. I just, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we were. I'm hoping by Monday we'll have an answer. Um, Literally, that's all that's, that's going on. Um, I'm just gathering information. So when I do have to go to the school, um, I know what I need to say. Like a bunch of you sent me amazing articles on IEP and advocacy. I have been going over that. I am looking at the laws. Um, I did see someone on TikTok saying we can actually file a lawsuit, file a grievance or something through the government um, if they're not following the IEP. So if that is true, we will do that. But yeah, that is the update. As soon as I get more information, you guys will know firsthand because I want to share this experience because yeah, it's a lot. A lot of special needs parents have to do this, so it's important for me to share. Uh, but I would say one thing is that this is a fight that's going to take a long time. This is not a quick battle, which is a shame because every day the kids don't get what they need or in a, or in an unsafe environment. Um, they don't get to learn, and they, and I have to have the fear uh, that something bad's gonna happen. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to the Halloween parade. So we're about to leave. The girls wanted to wear a costume, so we compromised, and they're wearing their Kiwi Co capes that we made. Hey, you be the trash. All right. There are my superhero girls. Woo! <laughs> they're gonna save the day. <laughs> nice pointing your foot, Lindy. Do the power stance. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I got Cody Knox. <laughs> You're amazing. And I got power Show me another move. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Fan stinking tastic. Thank you. All right, we're at the school. The girls are so cute with their dad. Look at those little superheroes with their dad. Can we just 
They're so cute. <laughs> and um, the parade's gonna start soon and I'm so excited to see them all. Kids are lining up here and then this is the path that they're gonna take. Yes. So cute. The weather is nice. Usually it's freezing in New York by this time. There's Griffin! Griffin! Griffin, hi! Hi, you gotta go! Hi! You do it! Keep going! Keep going! Hi! You gotta keep... I'm sorry! Sawyer! Hi, Sawyer! Hi! You're doing so good! There's Winnie! Bye! Harrison! The kids did so good. Very proud of Griffin and Sawyer and Harrison and Wynn. So we are, have a few minutes till we get to pick them up from school and then we're going to head home. All right, we're home from the Halloween festivities. Uh, Lindy fell asleep. She had way too much fun today. Look at the baby sleeping. I cannot believe it. Um, there's Winnie. You are the best Tinkerbell I ever saw. Did you have fun today? Yeah. You are gorgeous. <laughs> Did you have fun at school today? Yes. Well, you were the best Superman I ever saw. What are you doing with your numbers right now? I want the tablet. You want a tablet so you can use your numbers? Yes. Yes, you wanted them. You asked for your numbers. Everything you got in the car. And you kind of had a meltdown about it. What num? What is this number? No. What's that? 49. Good job. No, no. All right, I'll get you your tablet. Are oh, you still looking at the balloons? The balloon is still up there from Posey's birthday. Hey, you. You were the best Batman I ever saw. Did you have fun on your walk? Did you? You want to wear the cape? Griffin, do you want to wear the cape? <laughs> Griffin's like obsessed with the capes. What are you doing? You're so silly. You had a good day at school? No. Did you? Was it a hard day? Or? Was it? So I wanted to share an experience um, when I picked the boys up and I got them into the car. Sawyer was on sensory overload and he had a, a, a mini meltdown, but anger, squeezing, um, screaming, very um, unhappy. I think sensory overload, I think this is a new thing for us, his sensory, um, when things are not the same. Uh, the environment, textures on fabric. I, I don't know, I'm trying to still figure it out. But I noticed it the pumpkin patch, and I noticed it today. So, I'm gonna keep my eye on it, and try to make sure, I try to figure it out, to try to help him through it. Kids are yelling and fighting. It's like this every day we get home. Everyone's very loud and just, I don't know, they're in it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that, and Griffin's kind of avoiding me. Are you trying, are you kind of avoiding me right now? No? No, oh, he landed on me. You landed on me. Oh, oh, you don't avoid, ow, don't hit. Don't hit. You popped the balloon, I know. I gotta get it from you. I, oh, I get a hug. That's the sweetest thing ever. That's the sweetest thing I ever saw. <laughs> Maybe he's not avoiding me. I was wondering if anything happened today. But the school, there was a good report, so. Um, this is candy. It's, this is okay. <laughs> so yeah, Sawyer, again, we're gonna keep working on it, trying to figure out how to keep him, trying to figure out when he's really overloaded with sensory, um, to get him down quickly and have him not get to that really aggressive state. Does he, he hurt me, he really did hurt me, but it was just, you know, I could handle it. But he's only five, so. I win! Yeah. Well, we're gonna end this vlog here. Thank you all for watching. Like, oh, Griffin, give me that balloon. Give me that balloon. Out of your mouth, thank you. So we're gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thumb the video for us. We'd super appreciate it. <laughs> Can I please have that? Follow me on everywhere, TikTok, everywhere. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget, guys, you're wonderful. Bye. Bye. Bye.